The 20th round of negotiations on Syria, known as Astana Talks, took place in Kazakhstan on the 20th and 21st of June, with Iran, Russia, Syria and Turkey participating. Topics discussed include detainees' release, repatriation of deceased individuals and search for missing persons. The participants announced that it will continue efforts to normalize relations between Turkey and the Syrian regime. While the talks was taking place, Russia, a participant, conducted airstrikes in deliberate areas on both the days, targeting civilians. The White House shared a distressing account of a family of 17 who lost their home to Russian strikes. Airstrikes were observed near IDP camps in the Sheikh Bahar area of western Idlib. Yesterday, the meeting concluded with an important announcement made by Kazakh Deputy Foreign Minister Kanad Demish. He declared that this would mark the final round of talks in the capital city. It is important to highlight that the Astana talks have faced significant rejection from factions actively engaged in fighting against the Assad regime on the ground. These groups firmly believe that the talks failed to adequately address their interests and concerns, which is the complete removal of Assad and his regime. They promised that uh, the jets would not uh, uh, do any bombardment of uh, liberated areas or opposition uh, areas. That's one thing. Another thing, we got a promise that these jails would be visited by certain committees to know about, to know these lies about the, the, what the regime is doing.